Hello everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar, Stay in Touch Product Enhancements, version 5.45, Batch Print Registration Cards, Create Custom User Roles, and more. Presented by Stay in Touch Implementation Consultant, Natasha Leck. I'm your host, Erin Fisher, the content writer here at Stay in Touch. Today's presentation will cover how you can get the most out of Stay in Touch Cloud PMS, version 5.4 product, product release. In this webinar, we will demonstrate how to batch print registration cards for arriving reservations. We'll explain how to create custom user roles with the assignment of your choice of permissions. Show the filter to exclude out of order and out of service rooms on the room status screen. Demonstrate that the financial transaction custom export is now enhanced with the addition of room number field. Show how the business on the books report now also displays the day of the week. Illustrate that company and travel agent cards now support enablement of mandatory fields. Highlight how the guest card now supports information capture prompts. Explain how the rooms out, rooms out of order and out of service report is now exportable in PDF format from scheduled reports. Demonstrate how inventory for short, shortened group reservations is returned to the group or house depending on the release date. Show that not ready rooms are available for assignment from the nightly diary. And highlight that tax ID and company regist registration number have been added to all invoice templates, including guest bills, accounts receivables, and accounts. We will have a short Q&A session at the end of the presentation. Feel free to submit questions throughout the presentation, and we will answer them in the order they are received at the end. And that's all I have right now. Natasha, I'm going to hand the presentation over to you. Perfect. Thank you for that introduction. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's start with the first topic, batch printing registration cards for arriving reservations. When you're on your dashboards and you click on the arrivals tile, you will see on the right hand side the orange print button. When clicking on this, you will immediately see that we will print all arrivals of the day. So all five reservations or all five registration cards. However, if you just like to select the ones that you want to print, you can do that as well and you'll see the count go up. And on the right hand side here, you can print the selected. Another option is that it's now possible to add customized user roles, which I will show you. If you go into your settings, hotel and staff, and user roles. Here, if you click on add new, you can add the user and save this. And then you just need to make sure that you select a dashboard for it. So I select a dashboard front desk. Please do note that whenever you create a new user, if you go into permissions, you still have to assign the permissions to it. So right now, when you create a user, it won't have any permissions yet, but you can still drag and drop them or use the arrows to assign the correct permissions to the new role. The next topic I would like to discuss is the new, the new filter we have for out of order and out of service rooms. If you go to housekeeping and room status and click on the filter icon here, you will see in housekeeping statuses that exclude out of order and exclude out of service has been added. If show out of order or show out of service has been selected and you click on exclude out of order, it will immediately deselect the show button. This counts for both out of order and out of service. The next topic, when we go into reports and schedule a report, I just wanna show you the new field that we've added to the financial transactions report. So if we go into custom export and new report, in financial transactions, in the selected fields, if you go all the way to the bottom, here you see that room number has been added as a field. While we're on the topic of reports, in the business on the books report, we have added the day of the week. So if I go into report and new report for the business on the books report, if I run this and go to the inbox,
And you can see here on the left hand side that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday have all been added to the date. This has been done when you do the report, but this can also show now when you schedule the business on the books report. Please note here that the date format will show as you have configured it. This has been configured in your settings, hotel and staff, hotel details. If you scroll down a bit, you can see the hotel date format right here. All right, while we're in the settings, if you go now to cards and company travel agent fields, we have added a mandatory column. When a mandatory toggle is turned on, a user will not be able to leave this field on the card blank. So if you turn this on, it will show an asterisk on the card. When you want to save it though, it will pop up and if you don't select it, it will still save. So it's not that you cannot continue without this. If we stay in cards and we go to guest card fields, you now have the option to prompt a field in the PMS, which you can see here. Right now, I can't click on any of these yet. So first we have to make it visible and mandatory, which will show the asterisk. And then you can choose the PMS prompt to be always at booking or at check-in. And when you do this, don't forget in the end to save your changes. When we go to reports and schedule a report and click on new, I just wanna show you here that the rooms out of order and out of service report can now be scheduled as well in PDF format. All right, now we're going to move into group reservation information. So in the menu, I just go to group and manage groups. If I, I have created a special group for this webinar. In the room block details, at the moment, you can see that I have two reservations in here. One is from the 5th to the 11th, the other one is from the 5th to the 6th. And in the room block details, you can see that here on the pickup. Now, if I want to change this, so for example, I want to make this reservation also only to the 6th, I can update it from the rooming list. And if I now go back into the room block details, you can see here under picked up that this has gone back to zero, but the two is still here, but it's still available. So in a group reservation, if you shorten the pri if you shorten this prior to the cutoff date, the inventory will be returned to the group and pickup will be reduced. If a group reservation is shortened after the cutoff date, which is shown in the summary, the room release date here, the inventory will be returned to house instead. All right. The next topic, if you move into front desk and room diary, for the unassigned rooms here on the right hand, it is now possible to assign a room also to a room that is not ready yet. Alrighty, so we have added tax ID and company registration number to all invoice templates for guest bills. Now there's a couple of steps that we need to follow here and I will show you how to do this. When we move into settings, hotel and staff, hotel details, the first step that you need to take is to fill in the text ID and the company registration number. When this is done, please save this. And then for step two, we stay in hotel and staff and we go to stationary then under invoice and guest invoice, you have to toggle on show hotel address in settings here on the right hand side and save your changes. And then the third step we need to take is we're going to go into cards, into guest card field. And if we scroll down here, 
you will see the option text number. Now we're going to toggle this on and make this mandatory so the asterisk will show on the guest card field and save your changes. And then in company slash travel agent fields, we're going to do the same thing. So here you have text ID, make sure that this is toggled on. Now, I just wanna show you under revenue management company and TA cards that for the company, you can fill in the tax ID on the right hand side here under extended company details. And this is the same under travel agents, it's on the same spot. So those are the first three steps. Now, if I go into a reservation, if I look at the guest card, I can see here now that the tax number has been made mandatory and I filled this in. If I go into bill and charges, if I now show you the invoice and I click on print, you can see here that we have the tax ID and the company registration number that we filled in in hotel details. And then here, the tax number of the guest card. Now I've linked a company to this reservation as well. And then you can see here, use company address. If I click on this and then print the invoice again, you will see the tax ID and company reg number we filled in in hotel details and the tax number that is related to the company. This is the company that I've added to bill to which will show you the same kind of invoice, just to show you. Here you can see the text number. And you probably guessed it, if I now show you the travel agent invoice, you can see the information we filled in in hotel and details and the text number related to the travel agent card. Now that's it for the invoice templates for guest bills but we have also added the tax ID and company registration number to all our accounts receivable invoice templates. So we take the same steps as, we, as we've done before. So in your hotel and staff and hotel details, you fill out your company registration number and tax ID. You go to stationary and toggle on under invoice and guest invoice, the hotel address, toggle and of course under cards for guest card field you can turn on and make mandatory the tax number and under company and travel agent fields the tax id now i'm going to show you if we go into the menu financials accounts receivable You can see here under AR transactions on the right hand side, if I click on the arrows going down and then on print invoice, you will see here the hotel details and the tax number related to this travel agent card. Now all invoices printed from accounts receivable are always linked to either a company or a travel agent card. So the same logic about the invoices and the tax ID numbers will be applied to both cards. Lastly, tax ID and company registration number are also visible on accounts. So we take almost the same steps as we've done for guest and account receivable. You go into your setting and we repeat step one of hotel details. You fill in the company registration number and the tax ID, but in stationary, when we move into invoices, under company slash travel agent invoice, you toggle on here, this one, the show hotel address settings, and you save your changes. And we do the same as before. Step number three, in your cards, guest card field, turn on tax number, and company travel agent field, turn on tax ID. Now, if I now move into front desk and accounts,
and I go to my account. I here have a company and travel agent card linked to it. So if I go to transactions and I want to look at the invoice using this blue toggle here, I can either generate an invoice for company or generate invoice for travel agent. If I print this, I think you got the hang of it now. You can probably see the information that we filled in in hotel details and the company tax ID number. And if I print the invoice for travel agent, big surprise, you're going to see the tax number for the travel agent. And of course, our hotel details information right here. All right, thank you. All right, uh, thanks Natasha for that insightful presentation. I'd now like to turn over the floor for questions. Remember, you can submit questions through the question box in the middle of the control panel. So I'll give everyone a few seconds to enter those questions. Great, I'm not seeing any questions come through. So let me switch back to my screen. So um, since there are no more questions, I'd like to take to the floor to offer some final thoughts. Today, we demonstrated how to batch print registration cards for arriving reservations. We explained how to create custom user roles with the assignment of your choice of permissions. We showed the filter to exclude out of order and out of service rooms from the room status screen. Demonstrated that the financial transaction custom export is now enhanced with the addition of room number field. Showed how the business on the books report now also displays day of the week. Illustrated that the company and travel agent cards now support enablement of mandatory fields. Highlighted how the guest card now supports information capture prompts. Explained how the rooms out of order and out of service report is now exportable in PDF format from scheduled reports. Demonstrated how inventory for shortened group reservations is returned to, to the group or house depending on the release date. Showed that not ready rooms are available for assignment from the nightly diary and this highlighted that the tax ID and company registration number have been added to all invoice templates, including guest bills, accounts receivable, and accounts. With that, I'd like to conclude our presentation. Thank you all for coming, and if you have any additional questions, feel free to email me at erin.fisher at stayintouch.com. Thanks again.